Hello everyone, welcome to an insane king hunt where the black king is forced all the way to the first rank and checkmated in 19 moves. In this position, white is down a bishop and have his queen attacked, but in compensation, white has a lot of open lines to attack black king. However, against the well defended king, an attack isn't obvious. The only way to force a win is to play the brilliant move queen takes g7 check, and after king takes g7, white must play knight to e6 double check, which force the king to come out even more, as king g8 is just met by a mate on the g file. After king g6 however, there are many checks in the position the white must avoid. The only move that wins for white is the second brilliant move rook g1 check, and after king f5. Knight g7 check king e4, and after rook g4 check, black must play bishop f4 to block the check, which the reason will be revealed later. After rook takes f4 and king d3 however, rook d1 check is met by king c2 and the king is in the quen side, where there are lots of defending pieces. White instead must play castle quen side instead to take away the c2 square using our king. After the forced move king e2. We can now seize that if the other rook was on g4 instead of f4, white can ladder mate black. That's why black played bishop f4 to block, thinking that now the rook is misplaced and we can only force a draw. But in his surprise, we play the amazing backward move knight g1 check, placing the knight back to its starting square. After king takes f2 rook takes f3 check and king g4. We play the quiet move knight f5 to thread knight h4 check followed by mate. And now, black, despite being up 8 points of material, cannot stop the checkmate thread. They must continuously check white king until they runs out of checks, and the game is finally completed in the 19th move of the puzzle. Subscribe to see more brilliant puzzle and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.